Go and make disciples, he said. Go and baptize them in the mysterious name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Teach them to do all the things you've seen in me, Jesus says. Give away my love. That's the mission of the church, you know, is to give away the love of Jesus. Indiscriminately, no questions asked, no strings attached, just give it away to people who cannot quite believe that such a thing could ever be possible, who don't believe they could be loved like that. And the world's full of folks in that state. He says, give my love away, food for the hungry, the abundant life we call salvation. Jesus gives the mission to all of us, not just the clergy, not just the super pious, not just the every Sunday attenders, not just the people who sign those pledge cards. There I said it. Where's the treasure? I'm sorry. <laughs> there are no requirements. Just come as you are. With open hands and an open heart to receive the gift God wants and longs to give you. We don't try to live holy life because we're afraid if we don't, God will zap us. That's a terrible thing we've done to God. We turn God into a cosmic bully. A lot of Christianity has done that. But a friend of mine calls, don't step on the cracks religion. That's what a lot of people think the Christian life boils down to. Who wants that? Who needs that? And that's not the gospel Jesus gives us. You and I are loved. God is head over heels in love with, of all creatures, us, whether we live holy lives or not. And we try to live holy lives not because we're afraid God's going to zap us, but because we are desperately grateful that we are loved whether we get it all right or not. we got to get over something. You can quote the bishop. Go ahead. Call the press. God doesn't send anybody to hell. Can we please get over that? That is not the God Jesus came to reveal to us. God doesn't send anyone to hell. I am perfectly prepared to believe that we'll find our way there all by ourselves. Because <laughs> I know people in this life who do. Sometimes it's me. But no one has to stay there. We are members of the dying and rising body of Jesus with that kind of good news to offer this world. Turns out the Beatles were right. All we need is love. Love.
the signs of the office of rector? Yeah. A Bible in the room? <laughs>
To you and to your service I devote myself, body, mind, and soul, and spirit. Fill my memory with the record of your mighty works. Enlighten my understanding with the light of your Holy Spirit. And may all the desires of my heart and will center in what you would have me do. Make me an instrument of your salvation and of and for your people entrusted to my care. Grant that I may faithfully administer your holy sacraments and be my life and teaching set forth your truth and living word. Be always with me in carrying out the duties of my ministry. In prayer, quicken my devotion. In praise, heighten my love and gratitude. In preaching, give me readiness of thought and expression. And grant that by the clearness and brightness of your holy word, all the world may be drawn into your blessed kingdom. All this I ask for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, will you join me in greeting your new rector and his family? Church, 
for those known and unknown who have died and gone to heaven, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Mark, all the saints, <coughs> let us commend ourselves and one another and our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord our God. Ever-living God, strengthen and sustain life, that with patience and understanding he may love and care for your people, and grant that together they may follow Jesus Christ, offering to you their gifts and talents. Through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Rise for evil. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. you. Share with one another a sign of Christ. Peace. 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 Peace.
we'll have a communion station right in front of the table here and make your way here as best you can. And if you can, walk comfortably through and around the chairs. We'll come to you. Don't, don't worry. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is very meet right in our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through the great shepherd of your flock, Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his resurrection sent forth his apostles to preach the gospel and to teach all nations, and promised to be with them always, even to the end of the ages. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your holy name, evermore praising you and sing. against us. 
us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Sing this with me. Oh, Lamb of God, Kind of the way we do it on Sunday. I'll have the little cups. He can fill. We'll have the chalice. Bishop will have the host. If you want to intinct, just like we do on Sunday, Bishop will intinct and then hand it to you or put it on your tongue, depending on how you have your hands out or whether your mouth is open. If you want the little cup, then don't say intinct, and he will just give you the host, and you will get the little cup from me. Blood of Christ in many forms.
God together. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the Let's have a party. <laughs> 